In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading 1 Timothy 1, 15 to 17, and then Luke 18, 35 to 43. The basic question is this, can God forgive me? And how can I know that I will be forgiven? Well, we can look at these readings today and see what forgiveness really looks like and how to come before God and ask for something. It's like this from Luke, a man yelling at the top of his voice, almost screaming it out. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Shouting all the more, taking no notice of all around him, just saying, have mercy upon me, son of David. Many people think they are so sinful that they can't really come to God. They imagine their sinfulness is so great or so often repeated, and that's often the problem, so often repeated that God can do nothing for them. So they remain silent. They live with their sin because they are too timid to come to Christ and risk rejection by him. Others are affected by society. The blind man was told to shut up. You know, they're acting. Those people in the front, it says, told him, shut up, be quiet. Those people in the front are acting like the demons who will tell you also, you can't be healed. Be quiet. What are you asking God for? You think you're important? Shut up. But... What does St. Paul say? He says this, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He didn't come into the world to save good people. They don't need saving. He didn't come into the world to save the whales. That's something different. He didn't come into the world to save the environment. That's something different. He didn't come into the world to stop plastic pollution. That's something different. He didn't come into the world to do all sorts of things, but he did come into the world to save sinners. As St. Paul says at one point, and I'm the chief of them. That's what the Lord does. He comes to save, to forgive. It's like being ill and refusing to go to the doctor because you think the doctor might be disgusted by your illness. That's what the doctor is for. And the Lord is there to forgive your sin, no matter how disgusting your sin is. You can be the most disgusting sinner, revolting person, and you repent and you come to the Lord shouting with all of your might, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Son of David, have mercy upon me. And like that blind man, he'll stop. So let's see here also what St. Paul says. St. Paul points out that he was a terrible sinner, persecuting the church, imprisoning and murdering Christians, starting, of course, with St. Stephen the deacon. And yet, he says, I received mercy as an example of Jesus Christ's perfect patience for those who believe. So he was patient with St. Paul, one of the worst sinners according to Paul, so he can be patient with you too. And then, can the Lord forgive sin? He might want to, can he? Well, this episode with the blind man shows that he can do anything. It's reminiscent, isn't it, of that man who was paralysed. The Lord was asked, Oof, you forgive sin? So he said, stand up and walk. This man came to the Lord begging for his sight. Begging for it. The Lord said, what do you want me to do for you? He answered, he begged, let me receive my sight. And the Lord healed him for his faith and he opened his eyes and he saw God. 
standing in the road in front of him. The Lord healed him for his faith and opened his eyes and he saw God. What an amazing thing that is. So when we sin, we must hurry to the Lord and copy that man formerly blind. Plead with him with all of your might, humbly, sitting in the dust maybe, and running to the Lord, taking no notice of the crowds of demons who will try and get in your way, who are in front of you, who will tell you to be silent. The Lord can't do anything for you, disgusting sinner. And the Lord will then wipe away your sin, make you whole, make you see. And who will you see? You will see the Lord face to face in due time. And that then makes it well worthwhile shouting with all of your might, pleading and asking for God's loving kindness his mercy to come upon you. Because in the end, when your heart is made pure, you too will see God. Your prayers. God bless you. Amen.